afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for our session on Beyond Textbook Using This is School for Homework and Revision. My name is Veronica. I'm a head of sales and partnerships here at This is School. And this is my colleague, Catherine Penton, who is going to be taking you through the platform. So I'll be doing a quick introduction and then Catherine is going to take us into platform. So again, please do take a second to go into the chat window and introduce yourself. I know that we have some of our current schools on here as well as new schools, so it's fantastic to see you all. So before we get started, a couple of little things in regards to housekeeping. We're running this as a webinar, meaning your cameras and microphones will be off. However, like I said, please do utilise the chat and the Q&A during today's session. I will be manning that once Catherine gets started. So any questions you've got that come up, please do let me know. Of course, we will have touched some time at the end for Q&A as well. We'll also be recording today's session, and this will be sent to you over the next few days. So without further ado, let's get started. So what are we covering today? So first of all, we're going to be covering the different areas of this in school and how they can be used for your homework and revision. We'll be looking at some easy ways to set assignments and to make most of our automatic marking function. And we'll also be looking at the power of personalization with our scaffolded comprehension activities, something that I know will be hugely beneficial for your students. And then, of course, we'll have a quick recap at the end. But before we go into all of that, I do want to take a moment here for, for those of you who might not be familiar with This Is School. So we launched in 2011 as This Is Language, rebranded to This Is School in 2023, basically as a reflection of our belief that our authentic content and resources, we have pioneers in languages, excuse me, can be applied to a whole different range of subjects. So we now offer resources for French, Spanish, German, Italian, Mandarin, ESL for any of you that may be in the US, and geography for those of you that might be in the UK. Our platform is cloud-based, meaning there's no additional installation needed. It can be utilised by students and by teachers on any device, completely accessible anywhere where you have internet access. So again, really, really powerful in terms of using it for exam prep and revision. And that takes us very nicely in to the next part of our platform, which is basically diving straight into platform. So I'm going to stop sharing now and hand over to you, Catherine. Thanks so much. Thank you, Veronica. So there is no better way to understand this is school than actually having a look. So let me share my screen. Oh, let's get used to Zoom. Here we go. And hopefully you can now see my screen here. So what I'll do is I'll take you through some of the key areas um, that our current teachers use for homework and also give you some tips and tricks on how else to use the site for some revision prep. Obviously, time of the year that it is, um, it's a really good time to, to start using the site um, in that way. And if you're just joining us or if you're on a trial with us at the moment, which I can see some of you are, hello, um, this is a really good time to be using the site because although exams are upon us, um, there's still a lot of time here and a lot of useful information and confidence building exercises for your students to get them exam ready. So hopefully you can now see my screen. So I'm going to be doing um, this in Spanish, um, just because from a languages perspective, um, it's easy uh, for me to navigate you through the site. Um, but if you wanted to see kind of the other areas that we do that um, Veronica has mentioned, they are down there in the drop down box for you to have access to. So one of our main areas that we use um, on the site and what stands us apart from all the other resources out there is our listening. It's what we're most famous for, it's that authenticity um, and it is really what sets us apart. 
We have over 12 and a half thousand videos on our site and they all feature young people in real world situations. Um, for languages, so for the MFL um, of you out there, um, these, feature, these videos feature native speakers talking authentically about their life and their culture. Um, it's totally unscripted, totally unedited. It's native speakers from various countries, and they're gonna, all going to be a similar age to your students, making it very accessible to your students, very engaging. And it's there so that students can hear different accents and styles of speaking. In the geography side of the platform, um, our real world videos feature GCSE students explaining geographical concepts and processes in a way that students can understand and relate to, um, thus enhancing peer to peer learning and giving them an insight into what they should be sounding like to kind of give them those that confidence um, that understanding these concepts um, is doable and you can articulate yourselves um, in a very concise way. So to use these areas for homework revision, all you need to do is find a relevant video, either by typing the video ID up here or by using um, these areas of the site. And it's important to, to highlight here that we are fully curriculum aligned across all the different exam boards. And it's all very easy to navigate um, in the video section. So once you've chosen a video and you can see here are different areas of the world that people are speaking Spanish. All you then need to do to assign this for homework, click the assign video exercise, select the exercise you would like to assign. It gives you an idea of how long we think your students will take, and this will be dependent on the difficulty level. Um, and then you choose the class you would like to set it to. I would recommend that when you're setting up your classes, that you're setting them ability level groups. So you've got the upper and introductory level here for Spanish, uh, which are my classes. Um, but any way that groups your students in ability level so that you can set differentiated work. And you may know that our star rating um, symbolizes the different difficulty levels for your students. You can set um, a due date. If you're setting this for homework and you like to get ahead of the curve for the whole term, then you can set your whole scheme of work up for the whole term or the whole year if you're really organized. Um, and that would be using this visible from button. So this will mean that this will is when it becomes visible to your students. So they don't just have the whole term laid out for them. It will become visible on those dates. And then they'll become due when you set them for due date. If you're setting these for revision, then I would recommend potentially not having a due date, just letting them dip in and out of it. Um, and you can set as much as you need to for revision. Um, and then they can just work their way through um, at their own pace. And then you're assigning the exercise. If you email them to students, they'll get an email. Um, otherwise, as soon as they log in, they'll see that they have assignments in their assignments tab. So easy as that. That is assigning an exercise um, in, in the listening section. Now, we also have all these other areas of the site that you can use. Everything is set for homework and revision in the same way. Um, one area that I personally really love is the grammar section. Um, in here, again, it is curriculum aligned based on the different exam boards. We also have key stage three areas as well. So when you are looking for your content, you can choose the relevant um, areas for grammar. So as you probably know, if you've been using us for a while or if you're just um, giving us a sneak peek, um, you'll know that we have these 120 second videos um, to explain um, this grammar structure. So in languages, there is it really is there to give a really comprehensive overview of, of the grammar structure, but also it's there with its own pedagogy behind the training. So the students for languages will be learning identification skills, multiple choice, um, ordering, and full productive skills. Whereas in geography, the explainer videos are a great tool for students that are struggling to understand a concept um, and you can then assign it for homework um, and then assign exercises independently to that, which then can support those lower levels and reinforce concepts that students might be struggling with. And they're really good fun, which make, makes it hard to understand with grammar and fun in the same sentence, but it is true. 
So when you're looking at these for homework and for revision, you simply just assign this and again, choose your class. When students get grammar sent to them for homework, they will need to do the test out section for their homework to be complete and they can do as much training as they like. But if they just do the training, it won't class as them having completed the homework. They need to do both elements, but it is explained when they get into the grammar section. But it's just for you to know that it is in there. But grammar is great. This grammar section is great for revision, um, especially when you're coming up to exams, because if you've got any little gaps that you need to fill, um, then setting some grammar assignments is a really fun, engaging way for those students to, to be revising and learning but actually having some fun along the way. So that's the grammar section in here. Now we also have the speaking and writing sections. These are laid out very similarly. Um, for geography teachers, the speaking and writing allows students to revise and prepare their answers for exams. We know exam time is coming up, and allowing students to practice their responses and use the correct terminology to articulate themselves accurately is really important. So the speaking and writing areas is a safe space for them to, to get exam ready in their own homes and then you can mark them and see where they're at. From a language perspective, um, the great part about the speaking section um, is that you can set similar answers from the speaking videos in our library so that they can get some inspiration and um, before recording their own answers and they can listen to those authentic native speakers and now the bit you're probably all really excited to see is the assignments tab this is relatively new we're always updating the site and we do love to hear feedback from teachers on new ideas um, and the assignments tab was an area that was always there but we've given it a facelift and put it a bit more front and center since the rebrand so in the assignments tab you can clearly see what's due what you've set and the results and um, this can be viewable per student per assignment or per class now, our most successful teachers track student progress by reviewing how long a student has spent on the work. So, for example, in this grammar structure here, you can see that these different students have spent a, a variety of different times on the site, had different attempts and what their best score was. So it shows you where they started, where they got to and then how long it took them to get there. So Taylor Swift down here has done very, very well, whereas Bob Geldof, he needed a bit more, more help and support along the way. But it's, it's there so that you can see how your students are progressing. Um, and you can also, which again is another new feature, you can use our mark book view where you can select multiple exercises and view them side by side. So that's another great way to track student progress and to see how they're progressing. Now the progress reports per student can also be printed out and shared with parents so that everyone can stay up to date with how their children are doing in class. And you can better identify performance in class versus at home, for example, um, or identify the areas where students may need additional help through homework and revision assignments. One of our other new features that we have in the vocab section is that you can now view word analysis. So when you're setting vocab sets for your students, you can see at a glance what words some students may have struggled with. And it gives you a little color coordinated um, key here. So if you had some red letters um, words, then you know that they might be ones that you need to um, reset or work on in class. Now, we also have an area in here called teacher resources. So we don't just provide videos and online activities. Um, we do have a comprehensive area here to save teachers time. So for language teachers, our teacher resources include various worksheets that can be used offline, such as hypersheets for grammar, uh, reading comprehensions, which are great as a 
class support or complementary homework, revision boosters. For geography teachers, this section includes a textbook guide for edXL GCSE, a getting started guide, which shares some of our ideas of how to use our video resources as part of your instruction. And we always love to have some lovely certificates that you can hand out to your classes, your students to show them how well they're getting on. Now, another area of the site that students love, teachers love it as well, really. <laughs> it's not just for the students, the teachers love it. So this is Nutty Tiles. Um, so you can either play the, the global game where they're competing worldwide, um, or you can play the custom vocab list that you've created. Um, so not only are they learning, they're engaged, they're leveling up, um, it has that competitive atmosphere. Um, so just to give you an example of some custom lists, here is a, a Spanish custom list for family members. And you can see that everything is in there in English and in Spanish. And then you can assign this for homework as well. So when you're assigning a custom list, if you're in class together and you assign it, if you're in like an ICT room, for example, you, they've all got their devices in the class, then they can all compete against each other with this list of words. If you assign it for homework and they log in at home at different times, it will still work. They will just play against other um, AI bots that are online or any of their, um, their um, classmates. And they can always communicate beforehand saying, oh, at six o'clock, let's all log in and, and bash each other at nutty tiles. Um, so it's a really fun way um, of working, um, but it's also they are learning. Um, and I would say that our most successful teachers use Nutty Tiles, not just as a game to fill time when they have an extra 10 minutes here or there, although that's great too. Um, te teachers will also get students playing it regularly to learn new words. It's a great spring or summer break activity as they can play on the go. Um, we've heard a lot from parents who initially were concerned that their kids were on a game, um, but then were very happy when they realized that they're actually learning a language which is always nice. I actually spoke to a, a gentleman at a conference recently um, who said that on a trip to France, his son was on the back seat on his iPad playing Nutty Tiles the whole way there. So that's got to say something. They're obviously enjoying it, but they're learning as well. So that's some areas of the site, um, just to kind of give you an overview of how we can help with homework and revision. Um, obviously, if you're already a subscriber, you can get in touch with your customer success manager, Sam or Anoja. You can go into complete detail specific to your needs on, on the site and how to work it for your students in your classes. Um, if you're new to us, if you haven't trialed or you're in a trial at the moment, and then myself or my colleague, Caitlin, um, will be able to take you through the site and show you again how we can tailor this to your particular needs for your departments. With exams coming up, this is a great time to be using the site um, because although exams are upon us now, um, this site will really boost confidence um, and give those students those key insights into the language or into geography that will just boost that confidence ahead of the exams. And it's something a bit different. They'll like it, they'll enjoy it. And it might be a bit of a, a nice breath of fresh air to them if they're, if they're those kind of students that get a bit stressed before exams. So we do want to calm them down um, and give them some time to enjoy learning um, as well as getting them exam ready. So authenticity. Catherine, before we go on to that, we just had a question from yes. Graham um, mm -hmm. asking a little bit more about feedback on speaking and writing. Do you want to talk about that a little bit more? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so um, when you give feedback on speaking and listening, um, this is the area of the site that does require a bit of teacher input. We are very focused on being an automatically marked resource. However, when we created speaking and writing, it was discussed at teacher level with the schools that we worked with to develop those areas that speaking and writing was something that actually needed a little bit more teacher input. So let's have a look, for example, at some writing exams. In writing and speaking, um, they are prompted to, to look at the grading criteria. This is exam 
board aligned grading criteria. So when you set the assignments, you can get to choose your exam board, foundation, um, advance, whatever it is that your students or those particular students are working towards, you can set that grading criteria. And then your students get a detailed list of what is expected of them. This is great for getting them that confidence to be exam ready. And then when they send you their um, response, obviously I've written this in English because I don't speak Spanish, um, you then use these toggle bars based on the information that is left from the exam board to say how well you think they've done. You can also highlight words that they may have spelt incorrectly. And you can either highlight it as a spelling mistake, a grammar mistake or a vocab mistake. And then you can correct them here. So just like you would with your own highlighter, um, you can highlight these sentences. And then you can also, if you wanted to, oh, sorry, you can provide um, some feedback to them as well. So that's the writing element of the of the site. And then if I show you speaking, it's very much in the same way. So speaking, you would listen to their recording. Again, the grading criteria is there so they understand exactly what it is that they are talking about and what they need to be including in that um, speaking session. Again, you would use the toggle lines to decide how well you think they've done. You can leave a comment and you can also record an audio comment back to them. So if they've mispronounced something or if they could have structured that sentence better, then you can record um, a comment back to them and to give them some support um, and to help them progress. Does that answer your question? Graham said it does. Super, thank you. Thanks, Catherine. Brilliant. Are there any other questions before I come off of the site? Because I can't see the Q and A. No, yeah, it doesn't appear to be. Thanks for that, Catherine. That's great. Brilliant. So I'll pop back into here. Um. So yes. Yeah, so you may have heard. Um, us talk about authenticity a lot. Um, it does mean a lot to us at This Is School. Um, it's it's where we came from. It's why we're here. Um, and I wanted really just quickly to cover why we believe it's so important. Um, it is very much inspired by um, our founder, George's journey, um, when he was teaching languages a while ago. I won't say how long ago, because it would give away his age, but a while ago. Um, um, he was in France with a, on a school trip and he said to his students go off talk to the locals come back and tell me what they said and um, you know have a chat with them and they all went off and dutifully tried to complete his task but when they came back to him they said sir we spoke our best French we put on our best accents but we couldn't understand a word that they said back to us and George had a light bulb moment of well, of course, because you've never really heard an actual French person speak. Um, and back then was the time when we had all the, the CDs um, or, or no CDs. You just had your teacher at the front um, speaking their version of, of Spanish or German. And they, in my um, experience, they weren't native speakers themselves. Um, so he really wanted to bring authentic language into the classroom. And authentic content isn't just a nice to have. Students really actively engage with the natural rhythms of speech. Um, they're also able to be immersed um, in the subject beyond the textbook approach. And it really is there to build up that confidence. We know that authentic language is a challenge for some students. We know that it can be quite daunting um, for, for them when they first hear it. Um, and it feels too quick and they can't understand it and they some of them want to give up. But what we have done is because we have scaffolded all of our exercises to these authentic videos, we are really building up the confidence in those students and to have those lovely light bulb moments of, oh my goodness, I understood what they said, which we all know um, are lovely things to have. 
um, and they really are important for authentic learning. Um, and similarly in geography, um, hearing a student of their peer um, group giving answers, um, it gives them an opportunity to open up discussions with their teachers. Um, so you might have um, a geography student speaking about um, tectonic plates and giving a detailed answer. And then as a class, you can then discuss what did they explain well? Um, what did they miss out? What terminology did they use? Could you have done anything better? Would you do anything differently? Um, just so that they can open up that discussion um, and get them again confident in articulating themselves. Um, and yeah, and authentic resources help broaden horizons. I mean, every subject. So we are very passionate about being authentic um, and I hope that you enjoy um, that authentic part of the site. And of course, I can't do this whole presentation without giving you some examples of what our teachers have to say about us. Um, here are some of my favorites, um, including uh, Beth Marshall, um, highlighting how students are exposed to vocabulary that's not found in the textbooks. So again, we're taking them past their exam, um, giving them real world language um, and understanding what you know real French, German, Spanish, Italian people sound like. Um, Caroline Murray here, um, talking about how she uses this in school for homework um, and what the time saving benefits there for her. Uh, we've had teachers tell us that, you know, this site really does give them their life back. Um, and we really are dedicated to supporting teachers um, in that goal. Um, and now I believe we have some time for some Q&A. So I'll, I'll hand back to Veronica. So um, that was wonderful. I hope you all enjoyed that. And that was some great questions um, that we've received. So please do go ahead and ask any questions that you may have in regards to anything we haven't already covered. We'd be more than happy to answer these questions. The question I see is how many videos do you actually have? Well, we have over 12,500 across our subjects. So it's a great amount. And they're all young native speakers. Another question I see coming in, other webinars do you have? We have two more coming up focusing on This Is School. We've actually got one on Thursday that's going to be hosted by one of our wonderful speakers. And that is on Thursday at four o'clock. And that is called Speaking Stars in MFL. We've also got one next Tuesday on levelling up using This Is School. And that's talking a little bit more about how we can help to bridge a gap of summer break. Like I said, we do all of our work with guests as well, and you can find all those links on our uh, website. Uh, so please do check them out. We'd love to see you again. Any other questions? One more, in fact, I can't see ESL on your site. Uh, we do indeed have ESL. Uh, we're always updating our marketing site with new and exciting content, but it's definitely something that we cover. And I know that's particularly of interest to our schools in the US. So before we wrap then, I'd just like to say a huge thank you for all to all of you for joining us. In terms of next steps, we will be sending out today's recording and we would love for you to go to thisisschool.com forward slash trial and enter your details and we will extend our standard 14 day trials to 30 days for you. Um, great time for you to be getting to know the platform and albeit you may be in the middle of exam prep, it could be a great way for you to think ahead to next year and also to provide your students with the um, opportunity to use it for exam prep. So like I say, you'll go to www.thisisschool.com forward slash trial 
And when prompted, you can put the code webinar to receive thirty days trial. We'll also be sending this recording out, and we'd love for you to share it with your colleagues as well. And then next Tuesday, April thirtieth at four pm, and UK time, we will be exploring how to level up for the next school year. So lots of exciting things to come. A huge thank you to all of you for joining us. And please keep in touch. We'll see you again.